John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness we have all received, and grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today we're looking at John 1, 15 to 18. We're going to be focusing in on the first few verses. So John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me. St. John knows that this life is not about himself. He recognizes that he is not the source. He is not the light. He is not full uh, of his own grace or of his own goodness. The church father mentioned that he was very notorious at that time. He was very well known. He was very elevated in the community. People were coming and repenting at his feet. He was this amazing preacher. And yet St. John does not allow one inch to his ego. He doesn't allow one drop to enter into his ego. Constantly he is pointing away from himself, pointing to Christ. He is not allowing any glory or any grace or anything to be coming from himself. That's why he says, he who comes after me is preferred before me. Later on, we'll see that he says, I'm undeserving of even, um, uh, you know, tying his his shoelace or something like that. So so he's, he's really like humbling himself saying, this is not about me. And it's so important for anyone who... Uh, is serving or anyone who is who is teaching in Sunday school or serving the poor or whatever it is that is working in the kingdom to know this has nothing to do with us all our work must be to point to God all the work that must be done must be for us to disappear and to point to Christ that he may increase and that I may decrease. St. John knows the way. He knows the way of disappearing. And where did he learn this way of disappearing? Where did he learn this way of being humble and actually pointing away from himself? Well, we see that in the Lord Jesus himself the way. He constantly points away from himself and points to the Father says, the words that I say, these are not my own words. These are the words of the Father. The works that I do are not my own. They are the works of my Father. He came to reveal the Father. And in his perfect transparency, he reveals to us who the Father is. And so our work, our very labor on earth is to become transparent in order to reveal to the world who Christ is. So the work of St. John is to bear witness of that light and to reveal to the world by forgetting himself who is the real source. And we see in verse 16, and of his fullness, that is of the fullness of Christ, of the Logos, of his fullness, we have all received and grace for grace. This fullness that he speaks of is, is the, the incredible grace of his Holy Spirit, of, of his elevating our human nature by becoming human with us. St. John Chrysostom specifically speaks of, of how he, um, what Jesus is by nature, we are not. We are not full of grace by nature. We are not uh, uh, participants in the sense that what he is by nature, we are not by nature. But we receive what he is by nature in us. We receive from him. Um, and he sp speaks of, of how he is full, and from his fullness, there is an overflowing that comes into us, yet he is never diminished. We receive what he is by nature. We receive by grace. And he says, and grace for grace. So 
we see that our labor, our work as ministers and servants and, and believers, anyone in the family of Christ, is to point away from ourselves to know whom it is that we are serving and who it is that is filling us. We have received from His fullness. We have received grace from His overflowing uh, love without Him ever being diminished, as St. John Chrysostom says. He who comes after me is preferred before me. We need to disappear that the Lord Christ may be seen and known in this world. May today be a day of forgetting yourself. May today be a day where we remember that this life that has been given to us has been given to us in order to glorify God, to lift Him up, to reveal Him, and not to build our own kingdom or our own ministries or our own services as though we have and are anything. And glory be to Him only. May we always seek to glorify Him, to lift Him up, and to disappear. Have a beautiful day.